Now let's create a pie chart. You may want several different charts in your reports to show different things. Remember when we plan our chart, we do so in order to show the information the best that we can. So what I'm going to select here is A5 through A12. I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to select F5 through F12. By holding down the control key, it allows me to select cells that are not next to one another. From here, I want to go to Insert because I want to insert a chart. And I want to insert a pie chart. That option is here where it says Insert Pie or Donut Chart. I'm going to select it. And I want the 3D pie. So I will select 3D. And now I'm going to move my chart to G1. Remember we've shown you how to move the chart before. I want to grab this side and move it out of my way just a little bit because it was blocking this. That's just a personal preference. Next I'm going to select the chart title and I'm going to change the title. And I'm going to call this one Total Expenses by Country. So Total Expenses by Country. Now I want to change my chart layout. I'm going to click the Quick Chart Layout. And I want to use Layout Two. So I'm going to select Layout 2 as my option. Next, I want to click the slice for the India data point. You'll find India is the orange. I'm going to select that piece of pie by clicking on it. Then click again so it's the only slice selected. Then I'm going to click Format data point. So right click, format data point. We get the format data point dialog box opens. I'm going to double click the zero in the point explosion text box. So here's point explosion. I'm going to double click that zero and I'm going to key in a value. I'm going to key in a 40. And then I'm going to close this one out by clicking the X. You'll see that it exploded India out. I'm going to click off the chart. Then I'm going to click page layout. You'll notice I'm on two sheets here. Do you see that? Okay, from here I can go to Page Layout. I can change my orientation to Landscape. I can click the File tab and I can go to Print. And here at Print, you notice I have different options. Here, no scaling is currently selected. I'm going to click that down arrow and I'm going to tell it to fit on one page. This brings all the information to one page. Next, I want to save the information. That way the next time I come into this, this will be set to print as one page and to view as one page in page layout. Make sure you always save your work when you've made your changes.